Hi hey guys, it's me, Driftastic Mom. Today I am here to share a Dollar Tree haul. Me and my husband went to Georgia today. It's about an hour away from where we live at here in South Carolina. He wanted to go down there to Cabela's and just kind of look around in, I call it the fishing store because that's what mainly he goes to look at. And I don't, I like to ride with him, but I don't really care to go. And there's a Goodwill about five miles down the road, but it's kind of pricey, so I really don't even care to go in there. But there's a Dollar Tree they recently built right next to the Cabela's down there. So I got where I just run in the Dollar Tree and look around while he's in the Cabela's. I got a little bit of food, a little bit of snacks, and a little bit of just... Uh, cleaner and things that I wanted so you kind of get in a variety I always say this I pick up things that I want or need or may use to craft with or something like that I don't just go in there and buy a bunch of junk I don't need just to show you I actually show you the things that I need and and want to pick up so where do we want to get started I guess we'll go ahead and knock out some of the food items I picked up a few things that I could normally like get from um, my Walmart pickup, but since I was in there and they were there, and I went ahead and got them. So let's start off with this Louisiana Supreme hot sauce. This is like my favorite hot sauce, and it's in a good size bottle, and we love this kind of hot sauce. I don't eat a lot of hot sauce, but when I want it, I got it. I love it. I will eat other kinds. But I've always just loved this Louisiana Supreme for some reason. And that's a big bottle for a dollar. You can't beat that. So I went ahead and picked me up some of that. I picked up this little thing of honey. It's like in a little bare plastic container. Really cute jar of honey. And of course, I can't tell you what the name is. I decided to leave my glasses off so I wouldn't glare. Junior Bear Honey Flavored Syrup. Okay. So that's that. I picked that up. I picked up some taco seasoning. I thought this would be better than just getting the little packs that I normally buy. Um, so I went ahead and got two since they were a dollar in, a, in containers like this. I haven't really seen any in, in containers like this. This is normally about the size that I pick up in spices. And when I seen taco seasoning, I was like, yeah, I'll get that. So I picked up those two taco seasonings to have. Those will last me a good while. I picked up some more minced garlic by the same name brand here. What does that say? Supremo? Supreme Tradition, which is what the taco seasoning was. So I went ahead and got that also, some minced garlic. I like using the minced garlic in my gnocchi, and last time I made it, I didn't have any. I just used regular garlic powder, but I like to use this, so I picked some of that up. I picked up me another pack of this Velveeta cheese, which Velveeta, you know, of course, is a name brand, so it's all good. Somebody's left me a comment on my last Dollar Tree haul and said, wow, I didn't know that they sold name brand stuff in Dollar Tree. I'm like, yeah, they have name brand stuff in there, and, you know, um, un unnamed brands you don't know but um, you can find name brand things in Dollar Tree so I picked this up I love putting this like on broccoli and cheese something like that you know whip up some broccoli and cheese and I made it last time and my husband loved it he was like ooh that's really good and for a dollar you can't beat it it's a good little pouch of cheese to put in your broccoli um, I picked up some potato gnocchi let's see what the name of this one is some of you probably already purchased some of these items yourself. It's called Pampa, product of Italy, potato gnocchi. And this stuff cooks really quick. That's one thing I like about it. You throw it in your soup really quick. So I picked up a pack of that. Because sometimes I go to order at Walmart and they're out of it. So I always know that Dollar Tree normally has it. So I like to pick that up since I was in there and it was there. I went ahead and got that. I picked up, let's do this, um, La Choy Soy Sauce, which y'all know is a good name brand. And my husband eats most of the soy sauce. I can eat a little bit every now and then, but I'm not big of a, much of a soy sauce eater as he is. 
But um, I picked it up because I was out of it. I knew I had it on my list in my planner that I needed some, and I seen it, and I, so I went ahead and got it for a dollar. I mean, this is a good heavy size bottle of soy sauce. Um, even the woman that checked me out, she was like, "Wow, I didn't know we sold that." I was like, "Okay," but um, she said she loves soy sauce, and she, that she didn't know that they had um soy soy sauce back there. I said, "Yeah, y'all, y'all sell soy sauce," <laughs> but anyway. I got that, and I think, well, besides these candies I picked up, I think that's all of, like, the cooking food items. Okay. All right, I gotta put my glasses on for these, because I don't know. These are Coastal Bay Confections. Hard candy. Fruit flavor and butterscotch flavor is what I got, and they're fat-free and sugar-free. And these actually are made with Splenda. And the re somebody asked me, somebody asked me in my last grocery haul, was I a diabetic or, or just trying to cut back on sugar or whatever, you know, because they seen that I was um, picking up, I think it was some little cookies or something that was sugar-free. Um, I'm not diabetic, and I just, you know, been trying to cut back on my sugars. And my husband also has been, because we are getting older and... You know, we still like to have a sweet treat, but we thought we would just try to, you know, get better treats for us. I know some people are going to like, ah, Splenda ain't no good for you either, but, you know, we're going to use that instead of using the regular sugar. So, I thought, you know, why not try them? I think I have actually had these one time before in the fruit flavor. They just got all these different kind of little colors in it, and I just like to have something like that to throw in my purse. Like, if I'm in church and I want, you know, to suck on something, I'll have a little piece of candy I can dig out. Or after you go out and eat or anything like that, you know, just have a little taste of something in your mouth. Because I do chew gum a lot, but sometimes I just get tired of gum. So I got that, and I went with the sugar freeze because I thought it would be better for me, of course, to, you know, eat that. So now, the things I got are... Like some body things that I picked up for me. Or my household, whatever you want to call it. Um, I picked up this Colgate Sensitive. And that's actually the first time I've seen that in there. They ha they do sell a lot of Colgate products. But I don't know if I've ever seen the Colgate Sensitive. It's not a bigger box. It's a smaller box. But I like it because it says sensitive. Because sometimes my gums can get sore and I have some toothpaste in there for sensitive gums but God, sometimes it's three or four dollars a thing and i trust colgate I, colgate is actually one of my favorite toothpaste so um i thought well i'll try that and see if it helps when my if my gums get sore again you know i can try it out for a dollar can't beat it you know so i went ahead and picked that up to try out i picked up some these are called Sorry, I have to keep pausing and put my glasses on, but I'd rather do this than wear them through the whole video because all the glare. Maxi Thins Feminine Cleansing Cloths for Sensitive Skin with Soothing Aloe, pH Balance, Alcohol-Free, Hypoallergenic, Dermatologist Tested, compared to Summer's Eve Cloths. You get 32 cloths, and they come in little packs like this. They had a couple different kinds in there. But I got these for sensitive skin. I did look on the back. They don't have that chemical in them that I'm allergic to. So that's a good thing. But I went ahead and picked them up just because they said sensitive. I like to keep stuff like this in my purse. Because you never know when you're going to need, um, you know, to freshen up and have something like that on hand. So those are good to have. I really, I'm going to be honest with you, I really don't like toilet paper. Like if I go out in public or Goodwill or anywhere and I need to use the restroom. Sometimes they have some of the thinnest toilet paper, and I hate that stuff. So I would rather use some kind of cleansing cloth or flushable wipe or whatever. So I thought, I'm going to get me some of these and just keep them in my purse in case I do need them. Because who don't like to feel fresh, right? <laughs> we all have to use stuff like that. So I got some of those to keep in my purse. I got one for my purse, and I'll have a backup for when that runs out. And then I picked up this lotion. My husband, 
has been talking about how dry his hands are. And normally I use the, uh, my watch may not be able to think of what it is. I know I've showed it in all my other, I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, I normally use another kind of lotion. I told him to try that if he wants, but I seen this in there, so I went ahead and picked it up in case he wants to try it. Dermaseal Dry Skin Treatment Original Lotion. It's a good size bottle. It's an eight ounce bottle. So I picked that up. I was gonna sit it on his dresser and just see if he'll pick it up and use it. Um, oh, my mine is utterly, utterly smooth. I think it's called in little things I get at the Dollar Tree. I love that lotion. It really works well on my hands because I have a really bad dry skin, especially in the cold, you know, cooler months. It's bad. So, that utterly, if I keep using that utterly, my hands get so, just like now, I mean, you probably can't tell by looking at them, but they're soft. Because normally when they're dry, they're like sound and feel like sandpaper. And I just love it. But he may not want to use mine, because I do, I use mine to take my makeup off when I wear it and everything. But I put, I got that to put on his dresser, see if he wanted to try some of that on his hand. I told him to use mine if he wants. I said, you want, if you want your hands soft, use my utterly smooth in there, because it's good. But I went ahead and picked that up anyway. Okay. Next thing I got. I don't know why I took my glasses off because I can't see what these are. I want to read them out. Next thing I got is this Pure Silk Shave Cream. Ultra sensitive fragrance and dry. Dye free. Reduce irritation. With a rust proof bottom. <laughs> so I picked that up. Just some shaving cream because it's starting to get warm weather. Going to have to shave those legs up. Sometimes I wear shorts, you know, a lot of people like think big people don't wear shorts, but sometimes I do wear shorts, and um, especially if I'm around the house, and um, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll shave my legs. I shave my legs some during the, during the cold season, but not all the time, but um, I do like to keep them shaved up, especially in the summertime, in case I want to wear shorts or capris, I can do that. Um, I got this Sure Sense. Angel Blossom Spray. I was going to put this in my extra bathroom in there. Just, you know, for any guests that go in there and blow my bathroom up. <laughs> and they can use this to hide it. Um, I keep these little air, um, what are they called? Air scents or something in my plug. So my house smells good anyway. But, you know, if somebody's in there, even in, I got one in the bathrooms too. But... I feel like, you know, since my place is small and when they come out, it's like right here where we're sitting. So, um, they might want to spray a little spray if they go in there and blow that thing up. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, I'm going to keep that in my guest bathroom for that. That way they don't have to worry about it when they come out. All right, this is just awesome. I don't even know why I put my glasses on for this. I don't know what this is. This is just a big bottle of awesome. Trying to see. Yeah, this is a 32 ounce bottle. Now, they had a smaller bottle, like a, a spray bottle, which I think is probably about 16 ounce bottle. It's smaller than this one. But I got the 32 because I already have an awesome spray bottle. I always hold on to a, at least one awesome spray bottle. And I'll just buy the refills because you're getting 32 ounces of awesome instead of buying the spray bottle every time. You know, you're, you're getting like, I guess it's like 16 ounces or something in the spray bottle might be a little bit more than that don't quote me on that but anyway you're getting more for your dollar if you just keep the spray bottle and then refill it with this because you're getting 32 ounces of awesome so i picked that up because i use that all the time that's my number one cleaning product is awesome all right the next things i got are a little bit of well no this ain't crafting I'll, then i'll show you the crafting stuff these are two eyeglass cleaner cloths and they just come in this little reusable pouch. And I just happened to see them hanging on the, one of the end caps. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get those. Two different colors. And I like to use these because I got a little little spray bottle in my purse. Um, sometimes I keep the wipes on me, but a lot of times I forget the little eyeglass cleaner wipe. I'll forget and refill my purse with them. And I always have these little cloths and a little bottle of spray that i can spray on my glasses and clean them because nobody likes looking through a dirty windshield you know what i mean okay now we're going to get to get to the crafty stuff i picked up some stickers i really didn't need any stickers 
But they were so cute, y'all. I just couldn't pass them up. I have a weakness for stickers now. I never would have thought back years ago that I would ever even like stickers. But since I do pocket letters sometimes, things like that, I just, I like cute stickers. And I like to use them in my planner. I do have me a planner. It helps me keep up with everything, everything I need to do with my eBay and my YouTube and, and my house and helping my friends, taking my friends to places they need to go, their appointments. I have to write them down. So it, it really helps me to keep up with all that in a book because I'm getting older and my mind just, my mind just, I just can't remember things like I used to. Um, but anyway, I like my planner and I like putting little stickers in it so, is what I was getting around to. But anyway, let me show you the ones I got. I thought this was okay. Uh, Crafters Square Stickers, 8 count. And these are kind of like the little puffy stickers. I don't normally use these, but they were so cute I couldn't pass them up. Is that not cute? I love those. Those flowers are beautiful. I love the one in the cone there. Look at that. And that one. Really pretty flowers. I love those. So I got me those. This one I loved. And you could probably guess why. The cute little scooter. Is that not cute? I thought that was so cute. Cute little puff. They're not real puffy, but they're like the th what I call 3D. They call them pop-ups. Little flowers with the basket. That is so adorable. I love those, and I love those colors. I'm probably going to use those to make a pocket letter in. And then these, I love because they got the little boots in them. Look at the little boots. There's one, there's one. Is that not pretty? So pretty. So I got those because I was like, yes, I love those. I got to get them. All right, the next thing I got is just some liquid uh, adhesive by Crafters Square. It says it's perfect for wood, plastic, leather, paper, cardboard, trims, embellishments, and all that. And me being crafty, I'm always needing glue. So I picked that up for a dollar, and let's see. It's 1.2 ounces worth. But it says it quick bond on all kind of easy materials. So I picked that up just to have when I want to craft and all that. And now, Last but not least, this is heavy. Oh no, I got two things. I forgot. Um, I have a plant here that um, my son and Rose give, gave me. And I want to repot it because it's getting too big for its pot. So they did actually have some things for spring in there. And they had this bag of Gardenscape All-Purpose Potting Soil. And... Let's see if I can tell. Eight pound bag. I don't know if it's good. Ho I'm hoping it's going to be good. This is what it looks like. It's big and it's heavy. Eight pounds. A potting. So if you hear something, my husband's out there taking the trash off. Um, so I got that. I don't know if it's good, but we're going to try it and see for a dollar. So I got that to repot my plant. And then I was looking because they had several different um, containers that you could, you know, use pots to put plants in, different sizes. I didn't want to go with one too big, so I got a medium one, and I got it in this light brown. They had some round ones, but they were either too big or too small. And I wanted to go kind of medium size and not too big. Um, so I picked this one up. I thought it was kind of cute. It's just plastic. I had to punch the holes out and put me a little something under it in case the water drains out. But that plant don't take a lot of water, so I won't have to really worry about that much. So I picked that up. I, I like the light brown. It's kind of just about the same color as my curtains in my living room. But um, I picked that up just so I could replant that plant because it, it's, it's time for it. <laughs> it's growing out of the soil and pot that it is in now. But, that's everything that I got, guys, from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so, I'm going to go. I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul. If you did, y'all give me a big thumbs up. Y'all leave me some comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when I upload new videos. And I'll see you in my next one. God bless. Bye. Noisy man.